Hey friends, welcome back to my Nifty 50 page kit series. We are working on getting embellishments into page kits and I know that you guys have stuck with me for a really long time. We started with getting page kits with just papers in and now we are working on getting all kinds of embellishments in. So this is from a kit that I had purchased from Redefine Creative at one point. And I think that this was part of Mojo Makers at one point. So I have a white, kind of a thin cardstock, not a super thick cardstock, a thicker piece of black, well, no, I have a piece of black, got this gorgeous floral, and this was from Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters. Okay, I wonder if it was for that, because it seems to match better. Not sure. Then I have this piece here. Yep, we have, oh, this is Heidi Swap as well. It's a 2019 collection, maybe Wolfpack. A piece of teal. A piece, oh, that looks like Wolfpack as well. Um, oh, there is a die cut in here and it reads Explore. And I hope somewhere that there is a little tiny E in there. Because if not, oh guys, look, it's missing. Oh, oh, it's in there, okay. Explore something. Explore now. Explore more. Something like that. Okay. So I'm going to have die cuts in here. Ta-da. So I, it looks like there's a cork piece. It looks like, oh, there's some cork pieces. There's some washi in here. We've got some twine and we have die cuts. Awesome. So I think this super cool die cut piece, interesting. Um, is going to be like a secondary title for us. It's super, super fun. So it's teal, black, it's gray. So the colors are like pretty set for us. Let's see if I have any kinds of the alphas that will work. I'm not feeling great about it. With the Between the cork, teal, black, white. So, I mean, that doesn't look bad, it just doesn't look great. This kind of looks awesome with it. All right, I'm putting Magical Forest in. Cool, fun, way easier than I should. And then really, since this was all designed so well by someone else, I'll probably be able to just get away with doing, ew, guys, look at these puppies and all of these teal colors. Yeah, I'll put those in. Hmm. Oh, and these are by Freckled Fawn. They are 25 plaid puffy heart stickers from 2017. And knowing me, I picked them up like on a Black Friday sale or something like that. So that will be our very first, very easy to put together page kit that somebody else basically did. And I just added an alpha and some puppy hearts. But whatever I do to do the design on it. At least I know that part will be something I've come up with on my own. But look, I love the teal with that. I thought it would be really hard and it was super easy. Okay, so next, okay, I remember what this is. So I have just a little bit, hold on, I'll be right there. I mean, I literally just have a little bit of this Vicki Booten collection left and I'm so into using up bits and bits. So I have some textured cardstock. I've got this one piece from Vicki Boot and Let's Wander Beach Vibe left, and it is awesome, right? I've got this splotchy watercolor paper left. I've got this really great cut apart, and it's super travel-y related. And then just a couple branding strips. So what I'm thinking right away is I do have this set of chipboard pieces from Felicity Jane. And they're black and white, and I have this puffy that reads going on vacation. I'm going to put them right in. That would be great. And there is this word summer that works as a title, but I'm thinking maybe a little bit of a gold alpha or something. Hold on. Although there is some of this navy blue. So if I... I wonder if I can come up with a word with these. I'm going to challenge myself to come up with a word with them. I'll probably have to do one of those Scrabble websites and pop in what I do have and then come up with a title. So let's see. Yeah, I could already do summer fun. So that will be easy enough. All right, so I have chipboard shapes. I've got wood veneer, stuff for a title. 
I've got all kinds of cut aparts because I'm going to cut these little Polaroid pieces every which way. You know, clearly I'll do that. Hmm. 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 So let's see, in my Felicity Jane goodies, I think these are just die cut packs that are left. Yep, okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm, nope. Let's see, some of that green is not bad with that green. I know it's supposed to be like a Christmas collection, but I don't get terribly worried about that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I do like the bright green. Oh, we'll put those in. That'll be fun. There's a snowflake thing right here, and I need that for a challenge I'm doing this week, so I'm going to put that to the side. Okay, bows we have. Check. We have bows. Chipboard. We have this. We need something puffy or something. Now, I haven't even looked to like in my downstairs stuff to see if, okay, I'm gonna put that with it. I love all the teal and the yellow and all that. I need to see if I have a bunch of summer stuff just hanging out. Would I rather use these whimsical ones? I mean, they're both kind of cute and whimsical. But that has a coffee cup, a girl with her hair in a cinnamon bun or a croissant as I call them. I think I'll use those. So my daughter is on a trip. I might be able to get somewhere with that. Okay, I have puffies. Wood veneer, chipboard, fabric. And these are gonna be like massively my die cuts. I'm thinking that that is a done deal. All right, page kit number two. Rather easy when I have just a big old pack of die cuts and goodies next to me. Now, that's not gonna be as easy shortly because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of that Felicity Jane treasure trove on my desk. So let me do this. And I have the one puffy right here that reads going on vacation that I've been trying to get into a kit. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Now, what's our next exciting? Oh, it's birthday related, guys. Cute. So this was a kit and, oh, this was from, these two pieces were a kit that was from, the scrap room. So this is Cake Smash by Fancy Pants. So we have yellow word or yellow paper that reads happy, a nice bright blue sheet from a project Good pad and some candles. So this is very primary color and that is fun. I like that. So I know my Felicity Jane pieces are not going to work. Kind of good in a way to know the what's what from the get go. Now I do think I'm going to just put those in for now and unless I get some packaging because the red and the yellow, actually all of that will work perfectly. So just so I don't know which way I want to go with it yet. Not a big deal. Now, right from the get-go as well, so many of the pieces on this Vicky Booten set of chipboard works perfectly. Nice. <gasps> Guys, I have a big happy birthday uh, set from Studio Calico, a happy birthday word that'll take care of titles and there happens to be a black zebra behind it. Totally normal. Let's see what's in here. I have something that says, ow. Oh, I have something that words stories of today and oh my stars, both of those match. So, hmm, no. So that matches. My only concern is whether or not I'm going to have more gold. Okay. So that's a neat little this and that matching situation. So what about these stickers? No, the colors are just a little bit off. Okay. And then over here, I have some Chamel stuff. Hmm. How about if I look to see if I can get any of these really great photo corners on. So I have three of these. I have two of these. I'm trying to get four. Oh, four. All right. The big ones will work for very dramatic photo corners. That is fun. Now, what else do I need? Maybe something puffy? Let's look for something puffy in this 
sturdy little box of goodies that I have here. That's super fallsy. Colors are wonky. I need primary. Like, like super primary. Let's see if any of these will work. Now, these pieces right here by Chamel are, they're awesome, but... Oh, we already know it's going to be like happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, the colors are just a little off, but I really like them. I do. Ew. Oh, this is birthday, but the colors are totally different. How can it be that difficult? I don't know. It should not be. Do I have any other little pieces? Not that are that cute in primary. Although... I'm thinking that this will be one of my puppy's birthdays. So I should put this in. It has all these doggy things on. Because both my puppies are boys. And one has... Oh gosh, they're both this summer. One is July 29th. Oh gosh, I'm terrible at this. Anywho, we have puppy birthday things to do this summer. And I think that would be right there a great page kit to celebrate them. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the drill. As you know, fun, happy, cheerful stuff. Like I already see a title. It could be original, lovable, happy birthday. That would be such a cute title for the boys. For the babies. There we go. Let's see what my next page is. Oh, it's another birthday collection. So it looks like the rest. Hold on, let me get it. It looks like the rest of that collection is right here. So if I have them next to each other, I can use them really, really well. Okay, so I already have a lot of things in with this one that I'm dropping and flinging. Okay, Ugh, let me get it. Okay, so this one, I've got a piece of cardstock, a big piece with words, birthday words and all that, and that's super limey green. I'll be using that. This cake smash piece right here has all these red stars and plaid on the other side. We have a blue stripe piece left over, puffy dots, tons of die cuts, and the tags and labels are also in here. So, primary again, but at least I have die cuts already and I have dots, as well as backgrounds, all of that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> so, I need to see, oh, I wonder if, nope, the blue is totally off. Okay, so this is where I'm probably gonna have to start grabbing some, see, I think we are gonna need like big puffies. I might have to start grabbing some um, thickers because I'm getting really low on the stuff I originally brought out. It's not a big deal. And I don't know if I'm gonna have appropriate titles already built in. So for this, I'd kind of like a black thicker set. Now I'm gonna to choose to keep talking while we're doing this and I know my voice is quieter over here. Oh guys, let me see how this would look. Is, you know, I'm gonna bring in red foam. They're black on the sides. And the reason why is I want to see if I can use these up. And I mean, I have E's, right? I can make an A. So I'm going to use that for my title. Great. And I'll have some kind of secondary title. Not a big deal. So I have die cuts, puffies. Yeah. I like this. This is like a done kit. So I'm going to have this and I can pop these up on any kind of um, dimensional adhesive I need. So they feel really kind of situated. What I think I'll do though, since I know I'm gonna do the glitter, is I'll go ahead and put like a dramatic black bow and I think that would be really, really cute. Okay, that is page kit number four to death for today. Now, and I've said it before, but guys, I'm, I'm gonna be bringing in flair. I have my punches on my desk. I have my, you know, seven favorite punches are on my desk. I've got some really great wood veneer pieces that I recently picked up from my friend MK. So I have 
bits and pieces right there at my disposal. I also have lots and lots of mixed media goodies. So I'm not terribly concerned about being able to make a go with this. Okay. So this was also a scrap room page kit. And this is photo plays. Let's see. It's photo play Tula and Norbert's excellent adventure. So these are die cuts, stickers, whatever. I've got a title. Got these pieces that I can leave as is or cut apart. Oh, I have this for a black background. It's just black and white. The backside is kitties. So just black and white. I've got a, chip, a piece of cardstock, not chipboard, from Basil called Caribbean Breeze. Really nice, vibrant blue. And then scraps. So at this point, all I need to look for is some kind of bumpy bits, right? So, hmm. Now I love all these colors because I have so many great choices, like really bold fuchsia and everything. So what I need to do is see, all right, let me go into my dimensional bits. Guys, there's so much that looks like fall now when I look in here. So maybe I'm gonna start making it like a little fall pile over here. Now that's interesting because the butterflies are the same color as that. And they are not even easy to use. So I think I'm gonna bring in some of these with this fuchsia color, the butterflies for some dimensional bits. I mean, I have all the die cuts I can use. I do have title bits, but what I think I'm also gonna do while we're here for the party is I'm going to bring in these stickers for like a secondary title, but I'm starting to look at them and they look too neat. Now, I'm not using them too navy. Too navy, I cannot have them upset me in that way. So why don't I bring in these? They're white by Freckle Fawn and they're puffy alpha stickers. And they're gonna give me the opportunity to have like a secondary title. So that might be the whole page kit just because of the dimensional, you know, nature that I can go with, with all of this stuff. I don't think I'm going to have any bows that I can work in, which is fine. I can bring in enamel dots. I can bring in flare. I can bring in all of that as I go along. Right? Right. I have plenty of stickers and I have these that I wasn't really planning on. Do these colors work? That. There's some hearts in here that work perfectly too with that. Okay, so that is my fifth page kit with embellishments for today. So if you guys have any questions about anything I'm doing with this or, you know, we can chat page kits and putting them together. Like a lot of you wonder why I don't have everything sorted by color. You know, I had um, one somebody say, you know, like even when I was putting the papers together, why don't you have all your papers sorted out by color and all of that? And I'm like, well, I have them sorted out. I have my papers together. I have my puffies together. I have all of that, but I'm more creative if I can see all the colors at the same time. So I know that's tricky for some people, but it's my process and you do your process, how it works best for you, right? But if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye for now, friends.